Greetings, my name is Joe Branco and today we're going to talk about the most challenging role in all of youth hockey. We'll talk about tips and tricks on how to be successful and effective in that role. How to be a hockey parent. Hockey parents are the most crucial piece of every hockey team. In this role, you'll be providing 24-7 coaching and motivation. You are the equipment manager. You're the chauffeur. You're the publicist for your young hockey athlete. You are an extension of the on-ice team, and your actions have a direct impact on team success. Game time. You have a responsibility to build team momentum from the bleachers. Be sure to grow the intensity throughout the game. Remember, the other team and their parents are the enemy. Do your part to win the battle in the stands. There are a lot of things to coordinate when you're in the stands. Keep in mind that at game time, the coach cannot provide individual attention that your young athlete requires to stay focused. It's up to you to provide that coaching to them throughout the game. Develop a set of hand signals that you and your player understand so that he can make key adjustments. This should include For any players other than your child who don't know your set of hand signals but desperately need your help, scream at them any of the following universal motivators. Skate. Pass. Shoot. These motivators should immediately be screamed the very second the puck touches their stick. Important to note that any player who crosses the blue line into the offensive zone should immediately be told to shoot. Fairness. As a hockey parent, it's up to you to protect the fairness allotted to your child. Bring a stopwatch with you to all games. Your kid is likely the only one getting short shifted every single shift. You need to record that data so that after the game you can provide that data to the coach so that they can make the appropriate adjustments to protect the fairness given to your child. Unfortunately they never will, but you can never stop keeping down that data. Referees. So referees fall into three main categories. One, disgruntled power hungry adults who suck at hockey. Two, old men who do this as a bi-weekly break from their retirement community, and three, children whose parents were bullied by hockey kids growing up. Each one of these classification of referees are terrible at their job, and they need your help. Don't forget that refs can be persuaded, so make sure you state your case after each call, but you must scream since it's very hard for them to hear out on the ice. You are here to help your team. Every call against your team, you immediately say, it's a bad call, or start yelling, are you gonna get both of them? Or call it both ways, ref. This is key. Keep in mind the referees are not required to take an eye exam, something that will become painfully obvious when the game begins. Gear. Make sure you're buying the most expensive gear you can. A general rule is that if you're not spending at least $200 on a stick, your kid is at a huge disadvantage in gameplay. Volume Volunteering is crucial as a hockey parent. Always volunteer to do the penalty box. You get a spot right next to the bench, and you can motivate and provide feedback face-to-face -to, -face to your child. You can also observe and critique the job the coaches are doing. When a player gets a penalty, you also have the chance to remind them to pass the puck to your child. Practices. It's imperative for you as a hockey parent to take part in every practice. Go and watch every second of every practice and take notes on what your athlete can improve. Be sure that they understand that if they don't skate hard during practice, dinner might be off the table. The ride to the game is crucial for game success. You have a responsibility to get their head into the game before they arrive at the rink. Remember, their young brains are like sponges, so fill it up with everything you know that they should do for the game. No detail is too small to mention. Be sure and threaten to take away their favorite thing, whether that be a cell phone or video games or food, if they make any mistakes or don't try enough hard enough in your view. The ride home from the game is equally important. It's crucial to blame at least 50% of the loss on the referees, but the other 50% should be attributed to the mistakes of your child. Jump right into the list that you made of everything they did wrong. It's likely that they might break into tears, but you need to work through that, through those tears, to get to the enlightenment phase. They will realize that you're helping them grow and appreciate the sport that you've chosen for them to love. Training at home is an essential piece of youth hockey development, and it's your responsibility as the hockey parent to make sure this happens. No wasting free time. If your young athlete is sitting on the couch ever, you have a responsibility to scold them for wasting time and let them know they should be outside taking shots. Ben, what are you doing? Reading. Come on, I told you anytime you have free time, you should be out there taking shots. Do you care about getting in the NHL or not? Yes. Well, come on, let's go. Oh my God. Seriously. Why don't you take this more seriously, okay? Fine. Yeah, fine. When they're practicing shots, they should be practicing cool shots. Always have your kids do top shelf or bar down shots only. You're not going to make the end of the season highlight video by making boring five hole shots. Ben, Ben, come on, I told you we only shoot top shelf here, okay? 
The other key message when you're doing at-home training is don't pass. Keep emphasizing with your young hockey player that stick handling through five players, finishing it off with a top shelf snipe is what all the greats do. Nobody remembers who had the best pass in the game. Do you remember who passed it to Sidney Crosby before the 2010 Olympics game winning goal? Yeah, me neither. Another key message to get across to your young athlete is ignore positioning. Is your child a defenseman? Not a problem. Make sure that every single time they touch the puck, they run it up. Enforce the previous rule by making sure that they understand not to pass as well. Just assume that someone will cover the point for them. Is your child a winger? Again, not a problem. No matter where the puck is, they should be at it. Don't worry about covering the points. That is someone else's problem. Perhaps the most effective way to be a great hockey parent is hockey immersion. Immerse your young hockey player in the world of hockey. Everything down to his underwear, socks, shirts, sweatshirts, hats, posters, everything should be hockey focused. Make sure that they go to sleep every night watching Miracle. Be sure that you get them a what would Gretzky do wristband so they always think about the choices they make in the context of becoming an NHL player. Make hockey the topic of every single conversation at every car ride, every family function, every dinner, every time you say goodnight. Ben. 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 Oh. Are you awake? Yeah. Okay, great. Hey, I know it's late, but ugh, look at these awesome tricks. I think we should start working on these right now. They look insane, and, uh, but I think we can really work on these. What do you think? It's three in the morning. I know it's three in the morning, but do you want to go out and try it right now? Fine, I guess you don't want to be in the NHL. God! All right, all you amazing hockey parents, good luck. Stay focused on all these tips and tricks and your team can finally win the state championship this year. Remember, it's up to you. The success of your team is up to you and your commitment. Scouts can be anywhere, so you must be ready at all times. Coach made a mistake 25 years ago by not putting you in, but you're not gonna let that happen to your young athlete. Follow my steps. Best of luck to all of you, and I'll see you in the Chell.